Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking bathroom tub faucets and you're probably watching this video because you have a steady drip or a steady flow of water and that's not normal. However, you're not alone. This is more common than you think. Those internal stems or cartridges that connect to the internal valve inside your wall, they wear out over the years. So in this video, we're gonna show you the step-by-step -step process on how to replace one. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers in the bathroom now and here is what we are experiencing. That is no longer just a drip, that is a steady stream of water. And that's a pretty bad leak. And it reverts back to one of these handles. The internal parts has a rubber gasket that in the event that it wears out, it'll cause this. So this is a very important step. Step one, put your hand under the water and test or feel if it's warm or cold. If it's warm, we need to address this handle. If it's cold, we need to address the cold handle. In our case, it's warm. So we are going to replace this portion. So the very next thing we need to do is go outside and turn off the water and cut all water from coming inside the house. And we will turn it clockwise and make sure it's tight. And that will turn off all the water. Back inside and open all faucets and allow all that water to drain out of the plumbing. And while it is draining out, we can do something. We can remove this actual handle. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and remove this center Phillips screw. And be very careful. Do not drop this screw down the drain. Set that in a safe location. And this part can be a little tricky depending on how corroded and oxidized and rusted your actual handle is to your cartridge or stem. From here, just wiggle it back and forth. Ours was pretty easy, yours might not be that easy. Let's go ahead and set this in a safe location. And on the bottom side, you have an access hole here. Grab your flathead screwdriver and remove that flathead screw. It will allow you to pull this cover plate off. And it is a very tiny flathead screw. And once you get it loose, depending on how much plumber's putty was added will depend on how hard it is to get the cover plate off. Ours came off pretty good and there's no plumber's putty on this at all. And it looks like caulk so we are going to remove all that caulk because when it comes time to reinsert and secure the new plate we are going to insert plumber's putty in here to create that watertight seal. Not allow any water to get in between the tile and this plate and seep in to behind your wall. You do not want that. So from here I've got the water stop. I've also got all the sinks in the on position. From here, we are going to reconnect our hot handle and we are going to carefully turn it to the on position. And there might be a little bit of water that comes out. I'll just do it slowly. And there's a little bit. So again, the full on position, that's important because it will allow us to remove the stem easier without damaging the seat. All right, there it is, full on. And I'll also turn the cold to full on. Let that drain. And from here, Let's grab our wrench and we need to remove this stem or cartridge. All right, YouTubers, real quick, visiting the Harbor Freight website and check this image out. This is a shower valve socket wrench set and I'll enlarge the photo. And these are specifically designed to remove your stems from your internal valve. And trust me, these are very beneficial. However, we do not have our kit handy at the moment. However, if you have the time to go pick this up from your local Harbor Freight or Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace Hardware, we definitely recommend it. All right, YouTubers, quick update. I went and grabbed a wrench. However, this stem is so corroded inside and stuck and I'm just going to continue stripping the actual face portion here. So grab this tool and a towel and I'm just going to break it loose here. And when you finally get this loose enough where you can spin it off by hand, be advised there might be just a little bit of water resting down the inner portion of the valve that might leak. So I've got a towel ready to basically plug that hole of the valve. And I'm going to plug that hole with the paper towel just to alleviate water coming out of that valve. From here, this part's junk, but keep it handy. 
just in case. Let's go get the new part. Back at the box, again, replacement for Kohler RK2504 valve repair kit, the actual stem or cartridge. It's very important that these come with an internal seat, both hot and cold. However, the diverter does not because of how the actual valve and gasket are shaped. On the left side, the old one. On the right side, the brand new one. Make sure your gaskets are in there. On the actual inner portion is a rubber gasket held on by a Phillips screw. That's very, very important because as you turn the knob on and off, it moves that gasket. When you turn it on, the gasket releases from the internal seat and allows water to flow by. When you close the knob, it pushes that rubber seal or gasket up against that internal seat, creating that watertight seal. So make sure all of that's there. From here, what I'll do is probably add a little bit of Teflon tape. Making progress, grab the Teflon tape, wrapped it two to three turns, and very important, do not allow any of that Teflon tape to obstruct this hole here. Let's head back to the bathtub. Back in the bathtub and the inner seat we replaced in a previous video. If you need guidance on removing the inner seat and replacing it with a brand new one, definitely check the video scrolling above. That is very important because in the event that you change your stem or cartridge and you have a worn out seat, it is not going to fix your leak. So from here, carefully pull the towel out. And I wanna show you the inner seat in there. See that right there? That's brand new and you do need special tools to pull it out. However, good news, they're only $9 at your local Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards. So that's what they look like. From here, grab the new cartridge, insert it into the actual thread. Be very careful, get a good feel for that thread. Do not cross thread it. And once you get it pretty firmly tight by hand, you can grab your wrench and you want this cartridge or stem pretty snug inside that actual valve. However, do not over tighten it because you do not want to put any stress on the internal plumbing and cause a leak. That would not be good. At this point, the entire stem and cartridge is properly secured. I'm going to remove all of this caulk because again, I'm going to apply plumber's putty to the internal portion of the faceplate to create that watertight seal and not allow any water to get behind these tiles inside the wall. For the most part, I got a bunch of that caulk off. Still a little bit more to go. However, I'm going to reinsert the handle and we are going to close the valve. And I'll also close the cold. From here, I'll go grab the actual faceplate and insert the plumber's putty and realign it and secure it. And I have the brand new faceplate in a lot better condition, a little more shinier on the backside, the plumber's putty. Don't obstruct the actual access hole for the screw and carefully insert it on. And you want to apply pressure equally throughout the entire radius of the cover plate. And as you apply pressure with one hand, secure that flathead screw down below with the other hand. All right, making progress. And from here, I'm just going to remove all the external excess putty. And the reason why we pressed on the plate while tightening it, we wanted to create a watertight seal with that putty. Over time, it's going to dry. So go the entire radius of the cover plate and remove all the plumber's putty from here. We'll grab a Kleenex and polish this actual plate. And I'll even shine up the actual stem and cartridge. At this point, we can go grab our brand new handle. Here's our brand new hot handle. And with a Phillips screwdriver, just be careful. This is plastic. Go ahead and pop that off. Inside there is the screw. Let's go ahead and Remove that from here, the inner portion grooves here. We are going to align them properly. And from here, the inner portion right there, let's go ahead and insert that Phillips screw and secure it. Make a progress, Phillips screw is in and secured. And grab the actual cap, align it properly, and snap it back into place. 
just like that. From here, that completes the entire cartridge or stem replacement on the hot portion. We are going to complete the cold portion as well, and we will follow the exact same steps we did for this system. However, the first thing we will do is turn the cold handle to the full open position. All right, YouTubers making progress. I completed the exact same steps as I did on the hot stem and cartridge to replace the cold. From here, that looks a lot better. We are very pleased. Next thing we can do is head back outside and turn the water back on to the actual house. Back outside and to open it up, you will turn it counterclockwise. And you will hear the water flow in. Back inside, I got the light on and we are going to give it a test. And again, the whole reason why we were replacing these parts is because it leaked like that, non-stop, 24 hours a day. Now, since we turned the water off, there is a little excess water inside the plumbing, and that will stop. Just be patient, and as you can see now, it is basically stopped within seconds. That's it, YouTubers. Hope the video helps. See, it's a pretty friendly DIY project. Hey, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Hey, one last thing. Scrolling above, you will see a link to a step-by-step -step video on how to replace your center diverter. Over the years, those diverters wear out, and they'll actually leak. So when you turn on the faucets, and you do not want water going up to the top shower head, however there is water flowing out, chances are that internal rubber gasket or the entire cartridge or stem diverter itself has to be replaced. Definitely join us at the next video.